Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 60 and in this episode I'm going to share with you more than 20 new features and the changes across 12 different apps. So let's find out what's new. And the first app we have today is Google Photos. And the memory has got a couple of new changes. Now you will notice that most of your memories include background music automatically created for you, which is something new to the app. At the bottom right corner, you will see a speaker button that will allow you to mute the music while playing or unmuted. And the second change is the revamped sharing menu. When you tap on share and then share memory, you will get this new page that will allow you to play it before sharing. And there is also an edit button at the bottom left corner. Tapping on it will show you all the included images in a carousel, so you can tap on any to select or deselect whatever you want. At the top right corner, there is a deselect all button and also select all to take bulk adjustments. You can also change the memory name and once you are happy with the changes, tap on done, then tap on share to get your normal sharing sheet. Last but not least, you can also share the background music in your memory by tapping on the music note button at the bottom left corner. But unfortunately, when you do this, it will say that music sharing is coming soon. So it's not yet available, but at least we know it will be in the future. I also hope that Google will allow us to choose the background music for our memories like Apple did with iOS photos. Now it's time for the Pixel Watch and it got some nice additions. The first one is the favorite contact style that will automatically show your favorite contacts. And when you tap on any of them, it will jump right away to the contact and then you can initiate the call from your Pixel Watch. And it can show up to five of your favorite contacts that you choose in the contacts app on your phone. We also got another tile which is the sunset and sunrise. First it will show you when the sunset or sunrise will occur, a countdown for the upcoming event and the sun icon will move in this arc to give you an indication of the progress. At night this arc will be empty and when you tap on the tile it will take you to the sunset and sunrise section in the weather app. And when you scroll down, you will see more information like the day length and the next sunrise. Also, the Pixel Watch app got tons of new watch faces to choose from. So when you tap on watch faces, add new, you will see this new page that will categorize the watch face based on the type. And you can scroll horizontally to check the different variations. So these are the exact same categories you will find on your Pixel Watch. But the only difference here, you will get different setups from the same watch face. And instead of editing the watch face yourself. So if you like this one, for example, you can choose it and that will save you some time. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below. Then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Next, the YouTube app. And now we have some new home screen widgets. When you tap and hold on the app icon, you will see here the widgets option. Tapping on it will give you two new ones. The bigger one is called Quick Actions and it will give you plenty of options. First, you can jump right away to the search and you have four shortcuts at the bottom depending on the widget size. So we have here the home page, shorts, subscriptions, and finally library. And the smaller version will only give you the option to search YouTube directly from your home screen. Change number two is on the web. Now when you try to write a comment and then click the emoji button, you will see a new category called YouTube. This one includes custom made stickers by YouTube that you can include in your comment. And also they are only focused on gaming for now, but Google is planning to increase the collection in the future. This feature is also expected to come to the iOS and the Android apps soon. Now we are done with the videos and it's time for YouTube music. When you open the app and then tap your profile picture, then your recap, you will see a memory automatically created for you. 
Tapping on watch now will show you a lot of nice graphics and a lot of information about your listening behavior. Like this one, I listened to 8,623 songs and these are the top artists I listened to. And the memory is very long, so you can continue scrolling through. And if you like any of these images, you can share it right away with any person. And here's how it will look like. And also, you can download the image if you want by tapping the download button. And this is not everything. You can also connect your recap with Google Photos. When you tap on this banner, it will take you to the privacy and location page where you can activate the connect to Google Photos toggle. Once you do this, go back to your recap page, make a refresh, and you will see here the musical photo album will get updated and it will include the photos you took during the same period. So for example, this photo is about the winter and these are the photos I took back then. And when I scroll to the next one, here's the spring photos. And then we have the summer photos, as you see here, and it looks gorgeous. You can also download or share these photos with others. The next one we have is the Google search app. Now when you go to the collections tab, you will see a revamped page. It includes three different categories. The first one is called all saved items and here it will show you all the items you saved from Google Maps and Google search. You can also view all the items by tapping on this pill shaped button. Here you will see the icon of the app you saved it from and also the name of the collection at the bottom. The second one is called your collections and here it will categorize the items based on the collection name instead of having all of them together in the same page. So here I have the first four collections and when I tap on more, I will get all of them on the same page. Last but not least, you will see the collections liked by you and this is the page you will get when you tap on it. The next one we have is the Google Home app. If you have smart devices at home, you will really appreciate the new redesigned version. Keep in mind that this version is currently in beta and you will see the preview label at the top left corner. So I'm going to show you how you can enroll yourself. But for now, let me show you how it looks. First, you will see five new tabs at the bottom instead of only two like before. And the whole app supports Material U. Favorites is the default one you get when you open the app. And at the very top, you will see your home name. Tapping on it will allow you to set up the home and away routines instead of having it as a pill shaped button like the previous version. After that, you will see a tile that groups all my smart lights together. Here I can turn all of them on or off or I can expand this one and get individual controls. This banner is also interactive so you can use it as a bulk switch by tapping on it to turn off all the lights and tap on it again to turn on or you can also drag your finger on top of it to change the brightness for all the lights together. But you can save yourself some time by adding your favorite devices and actions to the front page. And you can do this by tapping add favorites. And here you have three actions, Google Assistant, Broadcast and Calling Home. Also, we have here all the devices so you can choose whatever you want, then tap save and they are here for immediate actions. With the ability to edit your favorites later by tapping on the edit button. Now let's move on to the second tab which is called devices and here you will see your rooms and groups with an add button that will allow you to add a new device. The third tab is called automations and this one will simply include all your routines either household or personal and you can create a new one from here. But when you tap on add, you will get the same old design because this page is connected to the Google app, which not yet supports Material U. Then we have the activity tab, which used to be called feed in the previous version, and it also got a new icon. And when you go to history, you will see some differences too. And instead of having two buttons, one for the date and one for the filters, there is only one button here called filter. And when you tap on it, it will show you the same filters in a new look with the date embedded inside. Last but not least, the settings tab. And here everything is grouped and ordered differently. First, you will get your home information. From here, you can invite a new person to your household. And when you tap on any of these arrows, you will get more options. Then we have the devices, groups, and rooms category. And here you will see all your devices in a carousel. And when you tap on the arrow, you can modify your rooms and groups from here. Like for example, if you want to delete the group or choose more devices, you can do this from here. And the same also applies to the rooms.
and when you go back you have the ability to add a device from here as a quick shortcut as well the third category we have is called services and here you can connect things like your netflix account you can also connect your youtube music to your google assistant and so on and so forth and under the three main categories when you scroll down you will see the rest of the settings listed together and there is also an add button over here that will allow you to add a new device speaker group service home member and a new home so if you like the new version of the Google Home app, let me show you how you can sign up from the current version. The first thing you need to do is to tap on the settings button, then you will see an option called public preview. When you click on it, it will show you some information about the public preview, and then you can request invite. After requesting the invite, it will tell you that your app will soon update to the public preview. And once done, you will get this card at the bottom of the screen showing you what's new in the app. But if you don't like it and you want to revert back to the original version, go to the settings tab and scroll all the way down, then public preview, and you have the option to leave the public preview over here. Next, Google Chrome on Windows and Mac. When you go to settings, you will see a new performance tab, which includes a new memory saver option. As per the description, this feature will free up memory from the inactive tabs to make it available for the active ones and the other tasks you do on your PC. And once you go back to any inactive tab, it will automatically reactivate itself. You can also choose to exclude specific websites from the battery saver option by clicking on the add button and type the website address. Now let me show you some small tweaks across multiple apps and I will start with Gboard. On the right, I have the newer version and as you see, the emoji page is taller and it has a different design. First of all, the search bar is smaller and is shifted towards the right and the page itself has a label called emoji in a big font. And instead of having the word search emoji inside the search bar itself like the previous version, you will see all the pages are labeled as well. So when you go to stickers, you will see the same label. When you go to GIFs, you will have the same thing and so on and so forth. You will also notice that the active tab has a pill-shaped highlight and instead of the horizontal line at the bottom. Moving to Google Messages and now the Start Chat button got a new icon to match the new app icon. The Google TV app got material use support and you will see this in the bar at the bottom. You will also notice that the filters are using rounded rectangles instead of the pill shape like before. Google Translate is now integrated with Google Lens. So when you tap on the camera button, it will take you right away to the Translate page in the Google Lens app instead of using its own page. And finally, Google started to roll out refunds to the Stadia hardware owners as a part of the service shutdown. You will get refunded for the full amount either if you bought the controller only or the package that includes the Chromecast Ultra. So these are all the new changes I wanted to show you today. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about the new way of creating these videos is it more engaging now or you prefer the old way? But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.